Welcome to Tsuchi This Week, I'm Mary Lee. It's good to have you with us. Coming up in this week's top stories, U.S. Tsuchi volunteers are holding a cash card distribution for flood survivors in upstate New York. We head to the Philippines as Tsuchi volunteers are holding two fundraising concerts in Manila. And we join Taiwan Tsuchi volunteers as they promote vegetarianism and no burning of Joss paper. In the United States, heavy rainfall in late June caused severe flooding at the Mohawk and Oneida Rivers of upstate New York. After the waters receded, volunteers from City New York chapter arrived at the hard-hit areas to carry out cash card distributions in hopes of helping flood survivors get back on their feet. In late June, heavy rainfall and flooding in upstate New York with low precipitation 170 mm per hour left homes and belongings severely damaged. To help, 15 New York City volunteers drove for hours to Fort Plain and Oneida, where they worked with the local Red Cross and district churches to carry out aid distributions, offering 300 to 500 US dollar cash cards to help 47 households in total. Uh, Fort Plain is in a really bad economic social uh, situation, so it's uh, any kind of help that we can give to the residents has been very supportive. In Chinese, the two characters of crisis means a danger and opportunity. I have tears like you people do. I'm telling the people to hang in. We're going to make it, but we're going to be back. And we're going to be, thank you people for what you've done for us today. All the people are very happy. They're very nice people. They're four plain people and they're going to stay. Misfortune seems to come in pairs, as two years ago, Hurricane Irene devastated this area. Now facing another natural disaster, local residents are frightened. This is the first time I've been homeless and lost everything, and now I can really understand what people go through. It's sad, but it's so great to know that everybody cares. For generations, these families have lived here, supporting each other through thick and thin. We still at this point don't have any water. We're going to use it to probably buy a new pump for the well when we get the well straightened out and some plumbing supplies that we need for it. As a community, we're all pulling together, staying strong. Hopefully good positive things come out of everything. Regardless of the disasters, local residents will continue to stick together and rebuild their homes once again. Next, we join Durban City volunteers in South Africa as they visit care recipients in Swaziland and Mozambique. Thanks to their continuous care, more local volunteers have joined City's ranks. This place built with pieces of corrugated metal and the rotten wood is where this 79-year-old senior calls home. After being diagnosed with AIDS, the senior became an outcast from his own family. Today he is surprised to see so many volunteers who come to help him wash his body and some even help clean up his house. comfortable, yeah. Giving the senior a haircut and helping him put on clean clothes, Tsuji volunteers' kind gestures leave the senior in smiles. The volunteer's respectful gesture makes him move the most. Upon learning of Tsuji volunteers coming, his grandchildren also come to witness the moment and are all moved to tears. Thanks to Tsuji, the senior enjoyed one of the happiest moments of his life before he later passed away. This is the seventh time Tsuji volunteers in Durban, South Africa have traveled to Mozambique to offer care recipients much-needed aid supplies and emotional support. During each visit, more and more local volunteers and care recipients are seen responding to Tsuji's calls. A noodle shop owner shows her support to Tsuji in her own way. She understands why, uh, why we are coming here. Don't, don't have problem to this car stop here and she is a uh, uh, congratulate for this. City's reputation is widespread here in Africa. The volunteers here in Durban visit Swaziland and Mozambique on a monthly basis. Each trip is 850 kilometers in distance. This van is their main transportation and to carry as many relief items as possible. Even space under their seats is packed with items. Meanwhile, in Swaziland, following months of training by volunteers from South Africa, Local volunteers are now able to work in teams to carry out home visitations and winter aid distributions. 
the fact that we are going to meet in Taiwan and do all the, the things that the master want us to do as volunteers. Inside this venue, volunteers are introducing Tsuji to local residents, while at the same time, the recruitment of local volunteers is being carried out outside. I will do it, brother, because all those She says, I will do it, brother, because all those who have mercy got mercy on them. Inside this poor village, city volunteers hand out aid supplies and put smiles on faces of the needy. <laughs> As city volunteers spread joy throughout these countries, the seeds of love will continue to flourish here in Africa. Every year, Philippine city volunteers help more than a thousand underprivileged students in the country continue with their schooling to raise more money that will be put towards helping those in need. Two charity concerts were held in Manila. The sound of beating drums marks the start of the charity concert organized by Philippines City Volunteers. On stage, local scholarship recipients and former conjoined twins Leah and Rachel Ao express their gratitude to the volunteers for their support. <laughs> Every year, Tsuji Philippines chapter helps more than a thousand impoverished students continue with their schooling. The proceeds collected from the charity concerts will then be used as scholarships for students. The event was also joined by the 33 crew members behind the diadrama Love in the Sunshine. Touched by the lives of the volunteers they are playing in the drama, the actors decided to become givers. It is more blessed to give than to receive. I'm so happy to be part of today's event. I actually have a job to do in Taiwan, but I decided to come here. Those with the ability to give should help these impoverished students continue with their schooling. I believe in the future, these children will also contribute their share and help even more people. It is our job to perform in front of people. With the help of Tsuji brothers and sisters, we can work on this cultivation ground and turn our job into a mission of hope. As the drama was filmed in the Philippines, these actors are familiar with the country. With the encouragement of the actors, Liu Minghong, who is a famous piano accompanist in Taiwan, decided to volunteer his time and skills. Serious. I have to be more serious when I'm here because this is a very solemn place, so I can't joke around. Uh, 89-year-old senior Wu and her relatives took a charter flight from Cebu to Manila to attend the event. Seeing the main character of the drama, senior Wu praises him for fulfilling his filial duties and doing good deeds. I traveled all the way to attend the event because I wanted to see you. We say that Taiwan used to be famous for doing business, but now it is well known for its kind-hearted people. Thanks to love from far and wide, the two musical concerts were attended by more than 2,000 people and ended on a perfect note. We follow Taiwan's eastern and northern district team members as they safeguard the health of residents living in remote regions across the island by conducting free clinics and home visitations. In Sanchi District, New Taipei City, 95-year-old Grandpa Xie and his son have been long awaiting this free clinic. A Northern Tima member, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, Sha Zhengping thoughtfully tells the pair how best to beat bloating. Use maize silk, clean the maize silk, then boil it in water like tea and drink it. Your legs bloating and body's humidity will go away. Northern Tima members travel across the mountain regions of New Taipei City to safeguard the health of seniors like Grandma A Yu, who just had her gallstones removed. As her grandma Ame, who has difficulty getting around and lives alone with her foreign helper, she quite enjoyed the visit and could not bear to see the volunteers leave. Oh, 
Besides the regular home health checks, Tima also set up a free clinic near the town's Mazu Temple. The spaces between your teeth will have plaque built up, so floss a couple of times and they will be clean. She explained to me how to brush my teeth in detail. I've seen a dentist before and the assistant taught me how to brush, but not in such detail. This time, the hygienist explained it very clearly. In the end, Tima doctors realized these residents aren't lacking in medication, but proper knowledge of its use. In the future, they plan to schedule more time for each patient to interact with doctors. Meanwhile, on the eastern end of Taiwan, a free clinic was also held by Tima members. Oh. Oh. Speaking native Bu known to instruct the villagers when to take their medication, Eastern Tima members have arrived in Taidong's Yanping Township. This time, a group of 53 Tsichings from Southern California of the United States joined the free clinic. Under the doctor's guidance, many of them tried their hand at giving an acupressure massage to the seniors. <laughs> For these youngsters, participating in this event is not without some cultural and language barriers. I was afraid in the beginning as I don't know how to interact with older people. Are you coming again if you have a chance? Yeah. Tima members in the north and east continue to bring their love and care to residents living in remote areas, whether it's a caring word or a helping hand. In Malaysia, students of the Malacca Da'ai Kindergarten visited residents at the Macha Baru Old Folks Home, bringing with them chestnut cake and many performances. Meanwhile, in the United States, New Jersey City volunteers visit the elderly at the Rose Mountains Care Center, where on their most recent visit, they were joined by Chi Shaos and City Academy students. <laughs> As the teaching plays a song on the piano, this grandma who was a dancer when she was younger gets up from her chair and dances away to the music. Over the past decade, New Jersey City volunteers have regularly visited the senior residents at the Rose Mountain Care Center, bringing them a surprise each visit. Students from the local city academy and Tsi South, who were on the summer break, also seized the opportunity to entertain by putting on a variety of music performances. Before each visit ends, city volunteers sing old time favorite songs for the senior residents and promise to return soon. With a knife in hand, students of the Malacca Dai Kindergarten are making chestnut cake for a special occasion. We are making these for the grandmas and grandpas at the nursing home. To ensure the grandpas and grandmas will enjoy the cake, these youngsters are mindful in every step of the baking process. The students of the Malacca Dai Kindergarten, who are all around five years of age, next visit the senior residents at the Machapbaru Old Folks Home to learn more on the concept of filial party. The energetic vibe brought by the students fills the nursing home with happiness and laughter. Besides dance and activities, the youngsters also apply body lotion on the residents. Happy the children here makes us very happy. The lively atmosphere makes me feel that they are my own grandchildren who have come back to visit me. We want to bring our children here to learn to care for the elderly so that they will know how to treat their own family and senior members at home. The visit to the nursing home not only warms the hearts of these elderly, but also helps the children understand the importance of fulfilling filial duties.
In Taiwan, Ziji volunteers from Taipei to Penghu have mobilized to spread the message of not burning joss paper or using meat offerings as part of the Pudu ritual of universal salvation. Kitchen volunteers are busy preparing vegetarian dishes for an upcoming tea gathering. Mobilizing 60 volunteers, Neihu Ziji volunteers are holding an event at the Xihu Community Center to spread the message of not burning just money in the upcoming 7th lunar month. Master Zheng Yin said it's okay to be illiterate. We just have to know the correct ideals and walk the right path. Keeping a vegetarian diet can help reduce your greenhouse gas emissions. Volunteers also invited a physician to explain the benefits of vegetarianism. Not only does the message reach the adults, but the children as well. It's protecting the environment and our planet will become prettier. We don't need to purposely destroy nature. By burning just money, the smoke from it and the chemicals released into the atmosphere are not healthy for our body. Meanwhile, at the Yonghe retreat, Ziji volunteer Wan Shanming, who owned a non-vegetarian restaurant for over 10 years, has now adapted a vegetarian diet for the past two years, all because of his participation in the Water Repentance Sutra performance. I converted to a vegetarian diet and naturally lost 20 kilograms of weight and now am much better looking as a result. The fabulous Culture and Education Foundation also invited Ziji volunteers to hold a tea gathering to share why the seventh lunar month is auspicious and how to best practice Pudu, the ritual of universal salvation. Pudu, Pudu. Actually, we can hold a Pudu every day, but how? In our hearts, we should hold on to gratitude, respect, and love. After listening to the city volunteers, we now are a seed of Ziji, and we should spread these ideals to others in the community. Moving to Penghu, where Ziji volunteers are taking to the streets to campaign for local residents to not burn joss paper in the upcoming 7th lunar month. <laughs> Global warming is an issue we should all be concerned with. We can help fight against it by not burning just paper. Instead, we can take the money we would spend on just money and donate it to others who need it. Wu Xunlong, who works at the Penghu District Prosecutor's Office, says changing old beliefs will take some time. Just because we want to change doesn't mean we will be able to change. We still need to consider how our elderly will feel. It might take some time, however, I think this promotion is a good idea. Volunteers continue door to door to campaign for a vegetarian diet. The tradition of burning just paper and using meat offerings in paying respects to our ancestors is not good for our planet or our health. At a local park, Penghu Ziji volunteers are teaching a group of housewives how to make a cleaning agent out of leftover fruit peels. With just a small change of heart and habits, everyone can protect the planet together and celebrate the seventh lunar month happily. In Malaysia, to safeguard the planet, students from Da'ai Kindergarten in Malacca visited their local recycling station get, to get some hands-on experiences. But first, let's go to China's Changsha province, where students learn valuable environmental concepts from local city volunteers. Anytime, anywhere, city volunteers are always ready to share the pros of recycling. Changsha Ziji volunteers are holding a parent-child recycling activity today here in the Feng Shushan community. Learning the 10 recycling tips, the children are quick to remember. We can squeeze it or stomp it. Tin cans are tougher, but aluminum cans are easily flattened. City volunteers seize every opportunity to promote recycling concepts in the hopes of leaving a clean planet for future generations. What can we do to save Mother Earth? 
Here in Malaysia, students of the Tsiji Malacca Dai Kindergarten know just the way, and they're recruiting their family members to help out. It's learning for our children and for us as well. She tells us what is recyclable and what is not, and we collect them for her. Not only are these kindergartners practicing recycling on school grounds, the students also take a visit to Tsiji's recycling station to learn about the different types of recyclables and practice sorting them. Today, we are reinforcing the concept of recycling in their minds. And as you can see, each of them is putting what they have learned into action. Knowing that their actions can help save Mother Earth, students put in their best effort. If we practice recycling each day, Mother Earth won't be sick anymore. I will continue to practice recycling to help others. We shouldn't throw our litter everywhere. If we practice recycling, we can help a lot of people and help our planet. This way, our planet won't get sick. Nurturing the habit of cherishing our Earth while still young, these students show their determination to safeguard our planet through action. In Malaysia, a two-day patchwork class was held at the Kodokina Balu Tsiji Continuing Education Center. Everyone said with Tsiji volunteers helping out, they were able to overcome all obstacles along the way. This is the two-day patchwork class held at the Kodokina Balu Tsiji Continuing Education Center in Malaysia. Today, the event is attended by many local residents, including 23-year-old Liu Yiwen, who says she has learned to be patient. I am always impatient when I am working, and I tend to scold others when I am in a bad mood. After attending this class, I learned to be more patient, because I know if I am always feeling annoyed, then my bag will be out of shape. First-timer Ling Yue Yi joins the patchwork class because she wants to set a good example for her daughter. I want my daughter to know that we need to seize every chance to learn regardless of our age. We don't have to buy things all the time. Sometimes we can make them ourselves. Using body language and hand gestures, one teacher successfully helps a deaf-mute student finish her bag. As for non-Chinese speakers, Tsuji volunteers thoughtfully stay by their side and offer them assistance along the way. The Tsuji, the volunteer here, yeah, they all help us how to make it, how to the directions, because I, I don't understand Chinese, I only understand Malayan uh, English. Um, so I, I like them, very polite, very speak also, but also very slow. Supporting each other through the patchwork class, everyone goes home not only with a beautiful bag, but also a valuable lesson. At the end of the show, we join U.S. City volunteers as they hold their free clinic in San Diego, California, where a computer system was used for the first time to help speed up the process of creating a database of patient information. We will leave you with these images. Have a good weekend.